We posed the same questions over and over again to several TSA workers and one U.S. Customs and Border Patrol officer Friday night as we strolled through Terminal B at Newark Liberty International Airport. What do you think about the federal government shutdown and how much longer can you continue to work without pay? I don't want to do this from the police. Just about everyone declined to talk to us, and there's reportedly hundreds of TSA workers across the country who are not at work to answer those questions because they're intentionally calling out sick, protesting the two week old partial government shutdown and the fact they're forced to work without pay until it's over. Let me ask you this how much longer can you work without pay? One month, two months in a row. We did find several airport workers willing to publicly support their TSA colleagues. It's not right. I mean, I, I, these I, I, people I, I, have families to provide for. You're worried about border control. There's people that have to border flights. There's people that have, that have to get on flights and do their job. And TSA is a protection for everybody that's here. On Twitter, the TSA released a lengthy statement in response to the mass sick out, saying, quote, security effectiveness will not be compromised and performance standards will not change. But the tweet then goes on to say, wait times may be affected depending on the number of call outs. TSA is grateful to the agents who show up to work, remain focused on the mission and respectful to the traveling public.